I was born July 25, 1953, in Western Maryland. Most of my childhood was spent out in the country when my parents moved there near my grandparents. Uh, my grandparents, maternal grandparents, actually spent uh, a good bit of time raising me because my mother was always at school and my dad was always at work. Most people would be really surprised to know that I love model railroading. Uh, I picked that up from my grandfather who had a, a 1930s era uh, train set. I inherited that. My first recollection of Jeannie, the love of my life, my best friend, uh, was seventh grade science class. He says junior high, but high school. Uh, she was sitting two rows up and one row to the left. I didn't notice him until high school. <laughs> Dated on and off for seven years. Jeannie and I were married August 20th, 1977. At my church, which was the first church of God in Maryland, Orchard Ridge. My mother's aspiration was that I'd become a civil engineer. Went to college to become an architectural engineer, only to find out the university where I was going, uh, Virginia Tech, canceled the program as I was walking through the door, so my mother won out. I became a civil engineer. I have two daughters. Uh, my oldest daughter, Courtney, uh, is a nurse practitioner and uh, works in several clinics in Pensacola, Florida. My second youngest daughter is Kelly and has become a geologist working on a PhD in geology at the University of Hawaii, Manoa. My first flight was for my fifth birthday. My mother took me to the local regional airport. We boarded a DC-3, flew the 100 miles to National Airport, uh, and during the flight down, I had the opportunity to sit on the pilot's lap and pretend to fly and I've been flying largely by myself or with the family ever since. I was at Mississippi State for 41 years as a member of the faculty. I don't know that I've met another educator um, in this field especially that is as concerned and interested in the students' benefit and success. I think Sybil probably has a really high retention rate at um, Mississippi State because of him because he's just really great about not only teaching us the technical skills but helping us see the passion behind the career which I think is missing a lot of the time but he definitely wasn't missing any of that passion. Engineers Without Borders at Mississippi State was a project I took on in part because of ASCE. So the Engineers Without Borders trip that I was involved with with um, Dr. Truax was to Zambia, Africa. We were working in a village called Simwaticella and it's in the southern region of Zambia. Um, and we were working on uh, installing hand pumped water wells for drinking water. With Dr. Truax and um, our other professional mentors that were there supporting us, the students were able to you know, get involved in the installation as much as possible, but also really focus on building the community relationships and working with the community to understand their needs. And we were able to uh, change the lives of those people by putting in uh, wells, which sustained a clean water supply uh, on a 12-month basis. I believe that Dr. Truex will be a great president for ASC. He will provide a strategic pathway that many of the members and younger members can get on board with and move forward and make our profession an even more desirable profession to be in. Dr. Truex has definitely been um, probably one of the most important mentors I've had um, in civil engineering and in just life in general. Dennis is passionate about engineering because he wants to make the world better for everyone else. Dennis found what he loves to do.